So if this was a regular quarter, I would be asking you to memorize Kw equals H3O plus plus OH minus and memorize Kw equals 1 times 10 to the minus 14. But this quarter, since you're online, you're off the hook. You just need to know um, how to just have access to that information because you're going to use it a lot. It's going to be really important. We're going to do a lot of calculations with this Kw equilibrium expression. In water that is pure, distilled, kind of water you would use in a biology lab, in pure distilled water. The uh, stoichiometry, uh, stoichiometry of this equilibrium reaction is perfect. The concentration of H3O plus product is going to be perfectly equal to the concentration of the OH minus product. And that's because they have a one to one stoichiometric relationship. So if you've made five moles of H3O plus, you've also made five moles of OH minus and their molarities and their concentrations are going to be equal to each other. And so um, in pure distilled water, because H3O plus is equal to OH minus, we can do some awesome math and calculate that in pure and distilled water, the concentration of H3O plus is 1 times 10 to the minus 7. The concentration of OH minus is 1 times 10 to the minus 7. If you're saying, what? Where did that come from? Oh my gosh. We're just doing it like this. We're saying Kw is 1 times 10 to the minus 14. And that is equal to H3O plus times OH minus. But we know that H3O plus and OH minus are equal to each other. So let's just substitute X for H3O plus and OH minus, or X squared. And then let's solve for X. And there we go. So that's only the case with pure and distilled water. This value, 1 times 10 to the minus 7, is only for water that is totally pure, doesn't have anything else in it. In all water, whether it's pure, contaminated, um, tap water, whatever, the concentration of H3O plus times the concentration of OH minus is going to equal 1 times 10 to the minus 14, the equilibrium expression and the equilibrium constant. And in ta like tap water or some sort of solution, the concentration of H3O plus might be higher than the OH minus concentration. The OH minus concentration might be a little low, but no matter what, when you multiply the two together, you are always going to get 1 times 10 to the minus 14. So when we add these random impurities, it does kind of disrupt the balance of the H3O plus and OH minus. But no matter how we disrupt the balance, this equilibrium expression is always going to be true. Multiply them together, you're going to get 1 times 10 to the minus 14. This relationship, the relationship between H3O plus and OH minus, is where the pH scale comes from. When we have a neutral, a pH neutral solution, our definition of what it means to be pH neutral, the H3O plus concentration is equal to the OH minus concentration. And that's our... 1 times 10 to the minus 7 scenario that we get, we only get in water that's pure and distilled. This is pretty rare. When we have a solution that we call acidic, so the definition of what it means to be an acidic solution, in an acidic solution, the H3O plus concentration is greater than the OH minus concentration. And that's, by definition, that's what it means for a solution to be acidic. The H3O plus has outnumbered the OH minus. And our definition of a basic solution, again, this is referring to acids and bases on the pH scale. 
in a basic solution, the OH minus concentration is greater than the H3O plus concentration. So um, if we know the either the H3O plus or the OH minus concentration, if we know one, we can calculate the other. And if we know both of them, we can determine whether or not the solution is acidic or basic or neutral. So here's one example. Let's calculate the OH minus concentration in vinegar if we know that it has an H3O plus concentration of 1.26 times 10 to the minus third molarity. So for a problem like this, we're gonna be using our KW equilibrium expression, H3O plus times OH minus. We're trying to solve for OH minus. So that means that we want to divide both sides by H3O plus so we can isolate the OH minus. OH minus is going to be KW, 1 times 10 to the minus 14, over our H3O plus concentration, 1.26 times 10 to the minus third. We do the math on that. And we get 7.9 times 10 to the minus 12. And we could use this information to determine whether vinegar is acidic or basic or neutral. Now you, you probably know, just already know that vinegar is acidic, but let's see how it works. If we're trying to decide if vinegar is acidic or basic, we're gonna compare the H3O plus concentration to the OH minus concentration. The H3O plus concentration is 1.26 times 10 to the minus third. The OH minus concentration is 7.9 times 10 to the minus 12. Don't let the exponents fool you. Those are negative exponents. 10 to the minus 12 is tiny. So H3O plus, our H3O plus concentration is greater than the OH minus concentration, which means that vinegar is acidic.